morning guys. Um, so we've had a bit of a later start today. Well, the kids are on a late start, I've been doing the washing. The laundry facilities are really good and easy to use. Um, you pay with a credit card and um, it's all online so you can actually watch when your washing's ready. It's really cool. I'll try and insert a picture of that now. Heading off to Typhoon Lagoon today. I'm not sure how much we're going to be filming. We are going to be taking the GoPro with us. It's an older GoPro, but we'll still try and use it and see what we can film. We won't be taking the vlogging camera with us. We'll do little bits on our phone for, for you as well. But yeah, we're going to have a nice chilled out morning at Typhoon Lagoon. Typhoon Lagoon. So we've had a different start to this morning. Had breakfast at the resort. The kids, David and Crazy Granddad are always here because I've been doing the laundry this morning. Great start to the day. Park opened about 10 minutes ago. Major problems with the buses today. Um, kept saying delayed, delayed, delayed. Otherwise I would have made it for rope drop with the kids. But anyway, gonna go and find them. Not sure how much we'll film today, but we'll give it a go. We've got the GoPro, so. You don't have to pack your towels. Had a great day at Typhoon Lagoon. We're all exhausted. I think that's the theme of these vlogs, exhaustion. Had a good day? Yeah, a bit warm. Caught, caught the sun a lot. <laughs> it's not even funny. It's very funny. Have you had a good day? Tired and cranky. It's been brilliant, absolutely brilliant. The slides were great, the wave pool was awesome as always. I didn't get to ride the waves as much as these guys. But I've had a good day. Good afternoon. So we're all dressed and ready. Fresh face, headed for Magic Kingdom. We have got 
dining reservation at Crystal Palace. Um, fast pass for the Jungle Cruise, hopefully gonna make it. We've also got fast passes for Seven Dwarfs Mine Trade, Big Thunder Mountain, hoping to catch Happily Ever After. Really excited again, can't wait. Not seen Happily Ever After for a couple of years. Yeah, love it. I listened to the soundtrack forever, haven't I? Think I'm gonna cry? Yeah. <laughs> Who votes mum's gonna cry? Guaranteed. Yeah? Well, we'll see. Really excited for dinner. Let's meet Winnie the Pooh, and Piglet and Tigger. We've got me Piglet tea on, and Emily's wearing her Winnie the Pooh tea. Just waiting for the bus. down Main Street to get to our Jungle Cruise fast pass. Harry couldn't help bust those moves at the dance party. Crystal Palace for dinner. Go meet some hundred acre friends.
Touched by Tigger. I've lost my ears. Tigger's knocked my ears off. selection of food on offer. First stop was the kids section uh, with chicken nuggets, mac and cheese and corn dogs. There were breads and salads and lots of cold options. The hot food included mashed potatoes, veg, cornbread to die for, big range of pastas and salads, um, chicken and salmon and a carving station. Best of all, dessert. The best bar in town. So we've just been for dinner at the Crystal Palace. Um, yeah, it was nice, great character meet and greet. Um, we didn't get to see Winnie the Pooh. Um, they had the, the poo song and then he went inside and by that point we all wanted to leave so we didn't see everybody. Food is okay. It's, I don't know if it's worth $52 if you're paying out of pocket but I suppose if you're desperate to meet those characters then yeah you should go. My fussy lot, Harry didn't eat anything except dessert. So dessert and bread, so you can imagine how hyper he is now. Same with David, there was only a few offerings that he wanted to eat. Um, I, don't, I like the food but if you've got a fussy palate it's not definitely the one you should go to. But I loved meeting Tigger, it was fantastic. Um, great meet and greets like I said. So it's almost 7 o'clock and people are already sitting down getting ready to watch the fireworks which starts at 9. So yeah, people are trying to get those wanted spots for about two hours before the even fireworks even start. After dinner we had a couple of fast passes to do, so first up, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Thank you. 
Still a mega busy evening here in Magic Kingdom. Let's see the wait times for Peter Pan. 75 minutes. 75 minutes. Wowzers. And it's a small world. Let's see what the wait time is. 25 minutes. Not too bad, but I am not giving up for it. I think that's one ride I'm going to have to give the miss this time. Next up, the wildest ride in the wilderness. I've got my own lighting crew as well as a cameraman. 